Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Taurus, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus. Star. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Somebody wants to come out of their stress and anxiety. They are still wishing and hoping that uh, things can work out or they can get unstuck from or end some kind of conflict because they want to rebuild. I think this person is feeling the lack of love. They feel they've lost out on... Mm, they've lost out on their person. They want to come out of this disappointment though. They want to come out of their stress and anxiety and sleepless nights and mm, rebuild. But they're not sure their person will want that, the same thing as that or not. They feel that person will say, no, I'm not interested. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Taurus. But first, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll clarify these. Taurus and their person spirit. Taurus and their person. Taurus and their person spirit. Alright, let's take a few more Taurus from another deck. Taurus and their person. Taurus and their person. Taurus and their person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right. Good to go, Taurus. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Taurus, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. It's there in the description box below as well. You can reach me there. So the first card here says, You will always have a special place in my heart. Nobody else can fill. Why do you try and downplay our connection, even when you know the importance it holds? You know who we are to each other. Why do you try and dismiss it? This really cuts deep, like a knife to the heart. My friends keep telling me I made a big mistake in letting you go. I want to fix things between us. I just don't know how to make things right at this time. I always thought we would be together. It absolutely breaks my heart that you are with them. I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do-over. I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. I know that it's in our destiny to be together. We are to be united in mission to serve God's plan to spread love and light in this world. Our combined gifts are important in this world. I don't expect you to be perfect. I love your perfect imperfections because they make my life as perfect as one can imagine. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. I feel like a fool for losing you. When you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You see a side of me that others don't. I can't hide from you. Deliver me from temptation. I wish that you could love yourself the way that I love you. I had to lose you to learn to love myself unconditionally so that you could then learn to do the same. I am now shining brighter and I have faith that one day you will see the true love and light within you as I do. Alright, Taurus, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start the reading. But first, an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today. Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message, Taurus. This is your message. You're a leader. You have to keep moving forward. You are the light. I mean, you're looking pretty healed here to me, at least. Uh, you, uh, this is like uh, somebody being in the forefront and 
actually motivating and inspiring others to lead an authentic life. This is your blessing. So keep charging forward and keep moving forward. I do see that you have been healing for a long time, getting over the stress and anxiety and sleepless nights. Maybe you've done a lot of work on yourself as well to get yourself out of disappointment, out of this conflict, out of this fighting. And now that you've learned your lesson, you can start rebuilding your life. All right, Spirit, tell me what's happening here. I am going to start now with the first card, which is a star card. Uh, what's that for today's reading, Spirit? Star card. Yeah, so there's been a big spiritual awakening, I think, Taurus. This could be you. This could be you healing your heart, healing yourself, maybe connecting with the divine, learning a few lessons, and uh, um, like the, being in self-love filling your own cup and being in a lot of self-love and getting over stress and anxiety and sleepless nights regarding maybe your soulmate connection, something that seemed very, very strong at one point or something that seemed that would go the long haul. Yeah, this uh, seemed like a connection that, you know, one felt that this is a perfect soulmate connection, uh, but uh, maybe that offer never came or uh, as much as maybe one person kept trying and trying and trying, they finally got tired and said, you know what, if you don't see the value and worth that I bring to the table, then I am going to do right for myself. I am going to bring my life back into balance and uh, maybe work on myself. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I think one person did all the work or kept trying so that uh, this connection would not end. But now they are coming to the conclusion that it is no point. It's no point. It can't be like a one-sided affair where one person sees the connection, feels this is a soulmate connection. I'll keep putting in more than I have to. Maybe the other person will see my value and worth. I think somebody's coming to the conclusion that maybe it's time for me to now move on. Maybe put in effort and work into a brand new connection and not be with the person who's only bringing drama into my life, uh, not wanting any more fighting, not wanting any more conflict, uh, getting out of disappointment. I'm so sorry Taurus, normally when I do these readings, half the time I have my eyes closed and I didn't realize that I got cut off and the, yeah, maybe it's time to cut off a connection and move away, I don't know, nothing happens with by coincidence, but the sad part is that I kept on and on and on and I was on the last card till I realized that the screen was blank. So let me try and get back to where I was, uh, I was somewhere here I think, yeah. Okay, so some like, like I, I said, somebody's trying to you know get out of a disappointing situation where they felt that you know what I, it's time for me to move on. So it's time to get unstuck from a situation which uh, had nothing to offer. Maybe it's time to release this connection which had no potential of uh, stability. I think somebody's th their eyes are open to the fact or that. You know, they've been enlightened to the fact that maybe it's time for them to move on towards a stable brand new beginning. And if an, a tower moment has happened in this uh, connection, uh, that I think this is, uh, this is the Empress who's saying, well, something that was built on unstable ground. Maybe it was built on sand instead of bricks and, you know, cement and whatever. If this tower moment has happened, maybe I should just allow it to fall now. There's no point in rebuilding. Maybe it's time for me to walk away from this connection, make a choice for myself and yeah, turn my back to this connection and see what else is out there. Right? They feel this way because they feel that they've been dealing with somebody who was not ready to reciprocate their love. Somebody who was maybe emotionally keeping them stuck but never opening up their own emotions, <clears throat> just delaying their uh, you know progress, uh, maybe not offering them anything for the long term, uh, being emotionally manipulative, blowing hot and cold or uh, just not meeting them halfway. Even though I think I have an empress here who feels uh, I was patient with them. I waited for a long time Omkara Taro, but they, I never got the offer that I really expected from them. And uh, now I realize there is no fertility, there is no growth, there is no abundance. They disrespected me and it's time for me now to bring back balance and justice into my own life. 
I think this is the empress now who is kind of uh, removing the blindfold and uh, cutting those chains and because they are going to be doing that, uh, I, I have a strong feeling because these two cards came out right side by side. I was so excited and I looked, that's the, that's the time I noticed, I said, oh my God, Taurus is going to miss this. Uh, there is a brand new beginning coming. The universe is going to be gifting this empress in reverse a brand new beginning because they have learnt the art of filling their own cup and because of that, who knows, maybe there is new love approaching this Taurus as well, this um, empress as well and um, yes, there is the fool card which is starting brand new, taking a leap of faith, having a brand new beginning coming and new love as well. Uh, coming out of a situation which was very disappointing to us, which always made one feel that you know you always left out in the cold, abandoned, not given an opportunity to have a ten of pentacles, no offer on the table, no happily ever after, ten of cups in reverse as well. I think somebody is moving on now because they've lost their patience. They've lost their patience, they've lost their excitement, not wanting a connection which is only passion and it's not going to go anywhere. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody is ending a situation with a person who they feel is, even though I think this person did make them happy, and they were hoping for a reconciliation but they were waiting for that person to express themselves and maybe offer commitment. I don't think that happened. Somebody realized that I, I'm not going to be the only one who's going to take on all the burden. It's like I want a, I want a partnership, I want an equal give and take. Yes, somebody did want a revival of this connection, but now they're realizing that I was waiting for nothing. My person has still got these ego problems or it's always going to be their way or the highway and I'm just wasting time here uh, keeping myself stagnant somewhere where there is, there is, there is no cup left. So I'm going to turn my back to... Yeah, somebody is moving on and releasing a connection which they feel is toxic. It's like, yes, this is never going to work out. They just keep too many secrets and they offer me too little. So, somebody is taking control of their own life and saying it's time now that I don't allow myself to feel the way somebody is making me feel. I am the master of my own life and I am going to move on towards happier times which they will. Alright, so that's what I have for you Taurus. Till next time then, love and light, take care, namaste.